We're on the road for agriculture on the rural radio network. I'm Clay Patton. We're at the 35th and CCTA conference at the Colorado Conser- Conservation Tillage Association. And uh, just finishing up one of the breakout sessions talking about sunflowers. Not always a crop we may think of in the corn producing state. Uh, as well, the uh, extension specialist I'm talking with today, Mr. Ron Myers. And uh, Ron, uh, your Herbie Husker looks a little bit more like a ram. He's CSU extension. Uh, but give us kind of a quick breakdown what you talk to producers here about today and what's happening right now in the sunflower industry. Yeah, so sunflowers is, you know, about a 80,000 acre crop in Colorado and of course Kansas and and uh, they grow them down in Texas as well up in Nebraska. Uh, not a major crop up here compared to corn or wheat, but we grow a lot of sunflowers and we covered sunflower 101. So that was uh, from start to finish and pretty basic stuff. So how do you grow them? What's the market like? Uh, we talked a little bit about plant genetics, and uh, you know, one thing that surprises people: uh, sunflowers are not a GMO crop, and that's by design. And so, um, you know, we make those crosses with the genetics that are found uh, within the native populations of, of sunflowers. And so, yeah, and we covered fertility and. Um, herbicides, things like that. Well, it looks like there's definitely some some good things to come with it, a little bit of a different root system as well. You look to the underside of them. Uh, are, are they something that's catching on? Are they kind of a, a seasonal type crop where we see them gain popularity, drop, gain popularity again? Or, or what's kind of the thought of farmers right now on sunflowers? Yeah, so it's an alternative crop right now. We're, for the most part in the high plains, we're wheat and corn and milo farmers. And so uh, they'll consider sunflowers when they need a different crop in the rotation or they're uh, tired of growing corn and, and so they'll they'll turn to sunflowers then but uh, for the most part it's a minor acreage crop in the high plains but uh, you know the sunflowers are native out here and so they grow very well here. Ron we appreciate the time before I let you go final closing thoughts for us important information overlooked and we can take this from the conference back to what you're working on at CSU we can do all sorts of things. Oh there's all kinds of really wonderful things happening in agriculture and you we can talk about biologicals uh, so you know products that have been in nature for a long time and now we're deciding to put them on crops and so that's that's exciting and then different rotations uh, you know the, just really some the, the science is very very strong in agriculture and that's exciting and that is ron myers he's with csu extension here and he's one of the presenters at the ccta no-till on the high plains 35th annual conference we're in burlington colorado and we're on the road for agriculture on the rural radio network